Hi everyone. So today I went to the rental car company and I got a Jeep. <laughs> so I took full advantage of that and I went to Home Depot. That's where the original bait hive was. This is where the original beehive now is. Uh, they're going and coming from the entrance. They look, they look busy. Um, so discovering new places. I just went down this trail I made before and then so came down here some more and then I went through here which honestly looks like a pile of poison ivy but I'm gonna clear that out because I'm not itching or anything so that's good and I'm gonna put my bee, bee yard in this area right here because it's the most level spot so I started with the debt block over there so I'm just gonna go that way with the debt blocks so I think I passed all the stuff I bought from Home Depot already so I bought four deck blocks some wood and we're gonna build a bee a little bee um, area so uh, two by four by eights some random random pieces of wood just in case I need them um, the debt blocks there are three and some other random pieces of wood just in case I need to build, build something but basically the, the hardware cloth for the weeds um, is what I'm going to put on first then I'm going to build a stand out of the debt blocks and the 2 by 4 by 8 and then I'm going to place I'm not sure if I'm going to move this this week or not but I want to make a split so I'm going to make the split and put the split hive over there all right, so checking out the hardware fabric. So it's uh, three feet by 50 feet. So I have no concept of measurement. So we'll see how that lays out. Um, it's landscape fabric and it says it should last for five years. So just for future reference, that's the one I bought. And let's see, it was it was 10 bucks. So let's see how much this does. And that's what the roll, this is what the roll looks like. So let's, let's lay that out. Okay, so this is a rough draft so far. So, debt block, debt block, debt block, debt block, uh, two by four by eight, two by four by eight, and then I had bought uh, some random pieces or small pieces. So this is a configuration I have now. So I put the bottom board here just to see if I'm level or to judge the levelness of what the hive might be. And um, it's crazy. Like right here, the two by four is sitting neatly where it's supposed to be in the debt block but as I go along here this is how how level my land is I have to put it on top of the debt block and raise it on I think this is a I don't know how much this is but um yeah I have to raise it there I think it's on the back nope yeah okay right one by two by two this is inches so <laughs> I had to do that and that's crazy so if I uh, for sure you know so this way That's where the bubble is and I'm fine with that because I've been playing with it for a while at the back so that's the front that's the front oh man I just fixed you why are you why are you not level okay so I have to give this a little bit more height it's trying to tell me but from here to here from here to here side to side here where the the um, bottom board is is level well judging by I'm judging by this one so this one here this one here and at the back I need to raise it up a bit because the bubble is oh all right I'm good with that right there perfect <laughs> all right so I set up this is an area so this is going to be my working area for today um before I go look up so I guess the first thing I have to do is I have to clean these frames up I have to make sure I don't know if you see that but this is fishing line so I have to make sure every frame has fishing line in it and um, then put them in the new box so I have to make a new box this box has a lot of frames in it this is so I'm gonna be cleaning frames today so this one is okay so this just needs a little bit of brushing off so this frame is fine so I'll put okay frames here this frame this frame also This 
is a deep deep frame he's not okay he has strings i know you can't see but this is i'm holding a string so i need to restring this one and it's a deep frame so it's going to go in this box over here so i need to fix that one i need to fix this one surprising this one's fine this one okay so this one I'm gonna put in the box that, this one's perfect and these need to be fixed okay so what do we have here so this is the uh, overwintering box so we don't need this yet but the lesson I learned today is if you don't use the box, other creatures are going to use the box. If the bees don't use the box, other creatures are going to use the box. So I had rats nesting in here and they caused this to happen. So I'm going to have to fix this and um, for winter. So we have some time, so we're going to set this one aside for now. We'll fix that later. But back to the frames. Back to the frames. So restring. Restring, restring, restring. Okay, uh, this one's iffy. Back to the frame. So, restring, restring, restring. Okay, uh, this one's iffy. This one's very iffy. I'm gonna say restring. It's uh it's a little slack. This one definitely re and restring. Oh gosh, I wasn't even able to save any. Alright, well that's fine. Just gonna clean up this box a little bit. That's fine. And the bees will fix it how oh, oh, they want it. Um I made these this box in spring, so it's been sitting out for a while. Alright, so when I when I finish stringing them, I'm going to put them back in here. So, this was fine. This was fine. And this was fine. Alright, so... Whoops. A little chipmunk. Oh no! Oh no! Accidents. Alright, so I'm going to be restringing. So let me just come here and show you. We're going to have a hammer. We're gonna have 20 pound wire, 20 pound line. It's just fishing line. And uh, nails, wire nails, one inch. They're very small. On this frame, um, so this is a medium frame, you put a nail here and a nail here. You're going to string here, the wire, hammer it, and then bring the string, you have um, holes here, so you're going to bring the string from this hole, to this hole, to this hole, down this hole, to this hole. So that's how I'm going to string the frame. Let me bring you over to show you. Come closer. I'm going to use this one as a bench. Can you see still? No, you can't see still. Oh yeah, you can. But let me, but let me um, adjust you. All right, here's another angle. Let me see if I like this angle better. <laughs> so now you can see this way. Um, all right, so, so this is another one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off the extra. Like I said, wrap it around here. Alright, so nails. Two nails. Oops. Two nails in first. So one here. Uh, let's do below for this one. Do below. One below. And uh, this one I'm gonna do above. Above. The original nail. Then, all right, let's see if we can judge this one better. That way, and then, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, well, let's cut it here. 
do this one. Nail this one down. Okay. Awesome. It's not moving. And then grab the edge. Straight through the hole. One, through this one, this one, and this one. Pull tight. Put off the excess. That wasn't too much excess on this one this time. We're doing better. Okay, so another frame. Let's stick it back in here. We have quite a few left to do. Okay, so that was perfect. So let's turn all our frames now. Um, I have, so how many frames do I have to do? I have one, two, three, four, five, six medium frames to go and three deep frames to go. All right. <laughs> so really appreciate you sitting and helping. Okay, so let's get on to the deeps, deep, these deep frames. All right, so let's get these out. Get all of these out. In case you were wondering, this was done by mice. So keep your mice out of your hive. <sighs> The mice said, we want space. We don't want this, this netting here. So they went in and redecorated because they swore it was their condo. <laughs> and they just redecorated the box how they wanted it. And they didn't want these lines. That's why I have to restring them. So, when you're doing your your boxes or storing your boxes, make sure bees are in there. They'll protect the box. I'm getting a lot of debris here, so I'm just going to throw this in the garbage.
same treatment, only this time we have one, two, three, four holes. So, on each side. Okay, same treatment, only this time we have one, two, three, four holes. So, on each side. Now, my teacher said, get creative with it, make crisscross patterns and stuff. She says she does that when she's getting bored of stringing frames. So, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Um, it's only three. No creativity today. I just wanna, just wanna get it done and get the inspection done. Alright, so one, two, three, four. So that should be enough. Hopefully my head isn't in the way throughout this. Oh, I heard you guys, I heard you, I heard you. Oh, you don't have to scream. <laughs> okay, this one first. The bees would be like, what are you doing? You did it wrong. And now you shall pay. Cross comb. Be like, oh, you want us to build cross comb? Okay, we're on it, boss. No. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm so excited to look what's what happened what they did for the whole month I was away. I'm so excited to go, go look in the box. They look happy from the outside. They really do look happy. So. <laughs> oh, it's perfectly tuned, this guitar. Oh my gosh, somebody should come up with a song. Play a song on your feet go. Come on. Mm -hmm. One more. All right. Perfect. All right, oh, we're done, we're done, woo, yay, okay, next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing, all right, so, let's, uh, save these for another time, perfect the window, yeah, I needed this the last time. Dollar store stapler, hope you work. I sure do hope you work. Okay, perfect. All right, so let me throw these in the garbage and... Good, 
as good as new. So that'll hold the nails inside. And uh, let's go on to the next thing.